Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be flying on Breeze Airways Airbus A220-300. So this is a first for me because I've never flown the Airbus A220, which I've been dying to fly on, and also Breeze Airways, which is a relatively new airline. Uh, I'm going to be flying with them to Las Vegas with a stopover in Alabama. And this is my ride for today, a Defender P525 in satin black. It's so weird to see a V8 in this. All right, let's get going to Tampa International Airport. All right, so we are now in the Defender P525, and this is Marlon. Marlon, say hi to the vlog. Going, guys? Uh, we're picking up Alex right now, just because, you know, this will be the last time we'll see him. So we're going to just pick him up real quick and then head to the airport. All right, everybody. Say hi to the vlog, Alex. Hey, everyone. This is my buddy, Alex. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh man, this thing sounds so good. Oh man. We got, we got a police officer. Oh yeah, we definitely don't want to do that right now. <laughs> okay, little little pop and bang. Okay. Hey, JLR right there. That's a nice Range Rover, actually. <laughs> you gotta do it for the vlog. Got <laughs> do it for the vlog? Yeah. Uh, yeah, shout out. Thanks for the shout out, bro. I appreciate the You're shout out. Let's let's hear Alex's version. A professional vlog from Spencer Montgomery. Follow YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not I'm not the type of guy that likes to plug their YouTube channel, but they did it, not me. You guys should subscribe. Yeah, yeah, they did it. They like, did it. Yeah. Click, click the link below. We checked the we checked the stats. We know forty seven percent of you guys that are currently watching right now aren't even subscribed. Guys, I think it's I think it's more. <laughs> I gotta look it up. I actually think it's more. Oh lovely traffic. Don't we love that? Maybe on the next vlog. You might be. You might be, bro. When I when I come to Paris maybe. Like one one subscriber and then you just you know like bring him for the next vlog if it's like a car show or a trip if you were the 13th person to like this video you are getting a free air hug air hug <laughs> yeah it's definitely free air hug for sure lucky number 13 and if you were the 14th green and berry <laughs> for green and berry okay so the, for those who don't know green and berry is uh, like an acai bowl place uh, in tampa and 14 is my lucky number. What I've always liked about this airport is the really cool LED lighting in the in the ceiling. I remember I took a picture of my Mazda here and the reflections off of the color were so sick. Okay, so Marlon, Alex, say goodbye to the vlog for now. All right. See you guys, see you guys later. Enjoy Vegas. Yeah, I'll see, see you in France Vegas. hopefully in a couple sure. months. This thing looks so fucking boss with the lights and everything. Welcome everybody to Tampa International Airport. This airport has been known as the best US airport according to JD Power in the large airports category. And I can see why. Everything is so well laid out and the airport is clean and modern. There is one central terminal that has trains to go to all six concourses that are arranged in a circle. This means that it is very easy to navigate the airport. The concourse that I'll be flying out of is Concourse C. 
Concourse C is home to Alaska Airlines, Avello Airlines, Breeze Airways, which is what I'll be flying, Southwest, and Sun Country. The terminal is very spacious with very tall ceilings, and I really like the simple modern aesthetic and architecture of this particular terminal. This is my personal favorite terminal in TPA. There's also some places to eat, such as Starbucks, which always has a very long line, a restaurant that's called Ulele, which is a phenomenal restaurant in Tampa that I recommend trying, and some other burger places. Uh, welcome to Airside C at Tampa International Airport. This terminal has no lounges whatsoever. Tampa Airport in general doesn't really have any lounges and none of them are particularly exciting or noteworthy really. Um, but there's a couple places to eat. There's a PDQ, like a burger place, and some Starbucks, which I'm probably gonna get in a couple of egg sandwiches because I'm absolutely starving right now. Um, my flight's slightly delayed, so the, the, the flight now departs at 11.40 p.m. No, I'm sorry, a.m and it was supposed to take off at 11.15 and the plane hasn't even arrived yet, but there's a UPS MD-11, which is really cool to see. You don't really see those too often anymore. Unfortunately, you can't fly on one as a passenger anymore, but it's a very popular aircraft still with freighters, especially with FedEx and UPS. Airside C provides great views of the ramp, such as this Avello 737. Then we got two Southwest 737s. I think we got the 800 and uh, yeah, I don't know which one that is. I think it's the 700. And for whatever reason, an Air Asia A320 was here, which I was very confused about, but we have a beautiful view of our Breeze aircraft, A220-300. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you too. Set on the A220, and wow. And yes, wow was the word I said when I first boarded this beautiful aircraft. First time I've ever flown the A220, and it is probably one of my new favorite aircrafts. And now, past Spencer, who is flying on this flight, will now give you a seat tour. I'm not sure if someone's sitting next to me on the next leg, so for that answer is solved, I'm going to just do a little seat tour. So. The nice seats, or the base seats as they're called, they have a yellow, the nicer have a red, and the nicest are the two by two. The headrest is adjustable. There's also a coat hook. One thing I wanna mention though is that the headrest I wish could go up just a touch higher because it makes it a little uncomfortable when the seat is not reclined, but the seat does recline, which definitely is a plus. Unlike, I think, Frontier and Spirit Airlines, I don't think they do that, so that is definitely a plus. As you can see, the seats are pretty slim. I do like the material, actually. The material is actually quite soft, but it's just a little bit on the thinner side. But, I mean, I'm not surprised. It's a low-cost carrier, so they gotta save weight and cut costs somewhere. Also, you have USB-A, USB-C, and then a tablet holder, which is pretty nice. have an iPad but if I did it'd be very nice and then you got the safety card here for the A220 and then also this is the buy on board menu one thing I also would like to mention is that the water is free uh, it's not bottled it's like in a cup which definitely is a plus because spirit they only have bottled water and they charge you three dollars for it so that is one thing I also would like to mention as well. The tray table goes a little too low. Like it's touching my legs. Like this is like reminding me of my United flight on the 777 back home to the US. So it's a good tray table, it's full sized. And I do like the pockets down here. They actually have been pretty well thought out. Mesh here and then another one right here. Definitely good, especially for a low cost carrier. Quite impressed actually. This includes e cigarettes and vaping, but I'll allow for your participation with disabling or destroying laboratory smoke detectors and drinking personal alcohol brought on board the aircraft. 
federal regulations require guest compliance with lighting information signs, posted blackers, and crew member instructions. There are six exits on this aircraft, two exit doors at the front of the aircraft, two window exits over the wings. to Huntsville. The local time is approximately 12.42. Please remain seated with your seatbelts fastened until the seatbelt sign is turned off and keep the aisle clear of carry-on items as we are now free to use your mobile phone. Use caution when opening the overhead compartments as items may have shifted in flight. Thank you for flying with Breeze Airways today. We enjoyed having you on our flight and hope to see you again soon.
Welcome everybody to Huntsville, Alabama. This is where our 30 minute stopover will be. And I'm not even allowed to leave the aircraft, but most people will be leaving the aircraft, which means I get to check out this swanky new cabin. The A220-300 is configured in a 3-2 configuration with 80 of these base economy or nice seats as Breeze brands them. Then there are 12 of these nicer seats, which are their extra legroom seat. And then there's a whopping 36 first class recliners in a 2-2 configuration. So since we got a little bit of time, I'm going to check out the nicest seats as they're called. And uh, you definitely get a sick engine view. I mean, look at that. Brett and Whitney makes a very unique sound when they spool up. You might have heard it earlier. The seats are very comfortable. They're pretty wide. It's got stowage space. Again, like an economy tab holder and stuff like that. Pretty cool. And pretty good recline as well. Okay, so now I'm in the, as Breeze calls, the nicer seats. So as you can see, significantly more legroom. I'd say about as much as on JetBlue. Maybe a little less. We could view out. I also love the windows of how massive these things are. This aircraft is absolutely stunning. Way, way nicer than the 320 or the 737. Like, it's like leaps and bounds ahead. And this is a regional plane. This is not the same class as the A320, but this thing is an absolute game changer in the aviation industry. And it is just going to go places and we're probably gonna be seeing these a lot more soon, just with any airline.
Welcome everybody to Las Vegas, Nevada and the end of my A220 experience. First off, we got to talk about the aircraft. I love the big windows. I love the 2-3 configuration. I actually got to check out the cockpit after, which was really cool to see. The actual breeze experience though, I found the crew to be very friendly. Didn't really see them too much, but huge shout out to Ashley. If anyone from Breeze is watching this video, um, huge shout out to Ashley. I do find though that the headrests are a little low even when you raise them. There's decent recline. I like the free water, unlike other low cost carriers. And I genuinely like this experience and I would highly recommend flying Breeze if you do get a chance to fly them. I've not flown them on their Embraer jets, but at least on my experience, they've been phenomenal. But that does it for now. Hope you have a good one and I'll see you all in the next video.